This is the last picture we took as family for Christmas. And so, it's gonna definitely, Christmas will not be the same. Days, days are not the same. I mean, Jeanette Burns holds back her tears as she remembers the last Christmas she shared with her beloved son, Alex Marcotte, before he was shot and killed last year. The 18-year-old was shot outside the liquor store on December 28th, the incident about 100 yards from the Banning Police Station. Tonight, remembering her last words to her son. Always I love you, but I had just made dinner that night and told him to come and get some but I left before he got there. Investigators say Marcotte and his cousin, 19-year-old Dylan Artea, got into a dispute with another friend outside the store. The other friend accompanied by the suspect in the killing, Brody Baca. Baca had a gun and opened fire on Artea and Marcotte. Every day is a struggle. I watch my son suffer every day. The family demanding justice. It is the worst thing to think that he's out there and possibly can hurt somebody else's kid somebody else's mom, somebody else's dad. Like, I mean, he's not just, you know, to us, he's a monster. Marcotte, a member of the Morongo Band of Mission Indians. Upsetting that our youth, which there's so few of, that we lose a member so young and with so much potential. And then on the other side that we can't get justice seems like a Native American thing. According to the Riverside County Superior Court records, three months prior to the shooting, Brody Baca was convicted of a felony for carrying a loaded, stolen firearm. Baca committing the crime on probation still roams free. It's sad that we're so small, so small of a community, and we can't find people that are killing our kids or, you know, it's, it's unbelievable to me. Danny Romero, News Channel 3.